Week 4, Season 2 of the APF franchise starts now. Please like and subscribe. And the players of note this week are for the Saints. Quarterback, Patrick Anderson. He was the draft pick this year and he is utterly amazing. Running back, Hunter Salamander. Uh, the wide receivers are the same with William Sosa, Brett Payton, and Anderson Barca. And then on defense, you have Scott Bynum, Isaac Espirito, Tobias Kitchens, Daryl Barnell, and Hubert Egan. I'm excited for this game. The Wolves are on fire. The Wolves are on fire this uh, since last game where they utterly destroyed the Gladiators who are not having a good season. And the Wolves defense finally showed up especially because they had three picks and all by the same player. It was a great game and I'm excited for this one. Clay Goodwin was the one with all three picks last week against Ryan Humes. Neve Watts has three touchdowns to seven interceptions but I don't necessarily blame him because he's getting no help. And the kick off is now. The game has started. The Saints versus the Wolves. Houston Wet with the return here. He jukes out a defender, he jukes out another defender, and he gets tackled. Watts in the backfield. He's rolled out right. He's getting some decent blocking for once, and he throws it to McNally. They've been, McNally's been quiet this season, so is Houston Witt. A lot of the playmakers from last year are not doing well. They're not used to Watts' throw power. And Watt throws the ball to Houston Witt, and he gets tackled out of bounds. No huddle here. Watts changing the play at the line of scrimmage. And he's running with the ball here. He's running. He has a first down and more. And he fumbles the ball. But he picks it back up. No huddle. That was close. He tried trucking the defender and he got murdered. This instant pressure here. He throws the ball. And it's almost intercepted but there's a penalty. What's the penalty here? Flipping number 54, offense. Repeat, first down. Flipping on the Wolves. Oh my. First and 28. I don't know if the Wolves can come back from this one. And he pitches the ball to Witt. Now it's second and 31. Pitch the ball again, but he gets some better blocking this time. Way better blocking here. And Wick gets a first down. Timeout is called. First down to 10. Watt. In the shotgun here. Changing the play. Surveying the defense. He steps back. He throws the ball to Davon Kenny, and Kenny drops it. Kenny was really good at catching in traffic last year. I don't know what happened. He steps back. Watch. He sees a guy open. And that's McNally. And that's McNally's first touchdown. That crazy spike. Now with the ball. Patrick Anderson is on the field. He's under center. He steps back. And he misses a throw. He's under center. He steps back. He throws the ball. There's some blocking. Ooh, Parr got spun out. Oh my goodness. That's a big play. Hunter Salamander took the ball and ran with it. What a great spin move that was. Patrick Anderson under center. 
He throws a oh he threw a slant and Par read it perfectly, but he missed the swat. That was caught by William Sosa. Oh, they're gonna run the ball here, probably. Anderson steps back. Oh no. Stokes got Pete over the top, first and goal. They thought they were going to run the ball there, but instead they were tricked. They give it to Hunter Salamander, he gets in, hit in the backfield by Reagan. Anderson, under center. Something he was never really used to. He played in, in an air raid type offense. And oh, he throws a dot. I believe that was Sosa again. Third and goal. Patrick Anderson under center. He steps back. He throws the ball and that's a touchdown. To their tight end, Murphy. Watts. Surveying the defense. He's flipping the play here. They give it to Witt. And Witt gets tackled almost in the backfield. Man, Witt this season just hasn't had the same explosiveness that he did last season. Ooh, Watt sees someone deep, and it gets knocked down. Third down and ten. They call no huddle. Still in the shotgun. Wait, gets the pitch here. Can he burn some of these defenders? Nope, fourth down and ten. They're going for it. They should punt it. But they're aggressive. What? Overthrows Teddy Moon. Oh no. Great decision, bad throw. Patrick Anderson under center, he passes it. Oh no, they played over the top, but Lerma knocks it down. The issue is they're playing with these heavy sets and passing out of them. So they just don't know what the heck they're doing. Keeping them on their toes here. And Patrick Anderson steps back, and he gets sacked. He felt the pressure, didn't know what to do. Third down and long. Anderson steps back. He, there's pressure. He steps up in the pocket. He throws a dot to Sosa. Wow, what a play. Amazing first down. Patrick Anderson steps back. He throws it to Murphy. Second down and two. Oh, no. They're in the red zone. On the goal line, they pitch it. And the Salamander with a spin move, and that's a touchdown. With the Wolves back on offense here. Steve Watts trying to get some yards here. Second down and six. They call no huddle. He steps back, he gets some good blocking for once. He throws the ball, Dave on Kenny, but he gets knocked down. Third down and six. He's running. He walks, gets the first down. Just barely. He throws the ball, that's to McNally, but there's a penalty. Is this coming back? Holding, number 60. Offensive holding. 
Welcome to first and 20. Wit in the backfield to Watts left. Wit gets the pitch. Oh. Wit gets the pitch here. He jukes out a defender and gets tackled from behind. They call no huddle here. Oh. Dave Ketty was wide open down the field, but Watts got sacked. That will almost was insane. You see someone open, that's McNally, and McNally gets the catch. Watts can thread the needle unlike Clint Benoulis last year. Watts running to his left. And he gets some running room here, and he goes out of bounds. He's trying to throw the ball, he gets sacked. Oh no, second down 17, they call no huddle. He was trying to throw it to Watts there. On the run. Watts, running with the ball here, and he gets tackled. Just barely though, barely got touched. He called no huddle here. Watts surveying the defense. He rolls to his right. He sees a guy open. That's McNally. First and goal. He throws the ball to McCarthy, and that's a touchdown. Julius McCarthy. See that again, and bam. What a great play. First down and 10. Patrick Anderson. Already one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He steps back. He throws the ball to a wide open Sosa. Sosa got wide open on that play. Anderson has 22 seconds left here. He's changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He, oh, he breaks this. Oh my gosh. What a, what a play by Patrick Anderson. I don't know exactly what he did there, but dang. Scampered for a lot of yards, and they pitch it to Salamander. Salamander gets hit with a loss. Are they gonna call no Yep, they call a timeout here. Interesting. They call it a timeout, but yet they're gonna run the ball here. They give it to Salamander, and he gets nowhere, but they call it a timeout. They're going for the Hail Mary right here. Cummings midfield here. Going over to the right. Anderson runs with the ball and gets tackled. We're going to halftime. 14 to 14. These are the stats at halftime. Both offenses are on fire. Wolves more than the Saints, but both teams have zero turnovers. And Houston Wits finally getting in back into shape, you know? Witt's finally looking like himself, and after the halftime, Patrick Anderson and the Saints are back on the field. In this pro set here, Anderson gets sacked. Brock Crane with another sack this season. Salamander in the backfield. Anderson drops back and throws the ball to his left. Third down and seven. Excited to see what they do here. Cummings 
line of scrimmage. They throw the ball, and that's another pick for Gruen. Oh my goodness. Gruen, four picks in two games. Let's see that again. He's on fire. Wit gets carry, he gets a couple yards to call no huddle. Flip of the play here. Standing on that side. He tries to do and Wick gets tackled for a loss. Third down and ten. Standing is out there. He sees it. Watt throws it deep and it's intercepted. Oh no. Oh, there's a fumble. McNally. Oh my goodness! They get the ball back! Stan Maine jumps on it! Watts has thrown an interception now. And Wick gets tackled for a loss. Right when I say they started to look like his old self, now he's just failing horribly. And they- Oh! And Watts tries to throw it down the field! He rolled to his left, but wow, what a play. Watts, changed to the play. He rolls to his right. He sees an open receiver downfield and he throws another pick. Wow. A pitch to Salamander. Oh no, he's getting the blocking he needs. Carr finally tackles him. Patrick Anderson steps back. He pitches the ball down the field. Good throw, good catch by Payton. Lerma throwing the... Ooh. Wilbur tried tipping the ball, but it didn't work. Patrick Harrison throws another ball to Talbot. It's really hard to stop them this drive. Anderson steps back, and there's another wide open receiver again. He gets hit stick by Cummings. Patrick Anderson under center still. Sacramento's blitzing, and he gets sacked. Oh my. Anderson's just been a pincushion this game. Sack after sack. Anderson steps back under pressure. He throws the ball to Sosa and he gets tackled out of bounds. Making some hot routes. He sits back and that's almost a touchdown. Anderson make, changes the play a little bit. They give it to Salamander. That's a touchdown. After the PAT, it's going to be 21-14. With Wolves down by seven, what can they do here? They give it to Wit. It would get some blocking. Oh my goodness, Wit, go! He gets tackled out of bounds. Oh my! He got perfect blocking on that play. Watts steps back. He runs, and he gets tackled. Four yard gain. They call it no huddle. Watt steps back. He throws the ball to Houston Witt. And he gets tackled. First down. No huddle again. I think he sees there's no one in the middle of the field here. He steps back. He throws the ball to Eric Trout. There's a missed tackle. That's a touchdown. Neve Watts just throwing a dot here. Let's see that again. He rolls his right, sets his feet, throws it deep, and that missed tackle. Eric Trout walks into the end zone. And Brockman missed the PAT. Patrick Anderson is here now. 
So we just gotta run the ball to Salamander. He gets stopped for a loss. Anderson, second and 13, under center. And he gives it to Salamander. He gets stopped. And Anderson is back under center again. Third down and long. Surveying the defense he's facing, and Salamander gets stopped again. After the miss PAT, what can they do? They give it to Wit. Wit gets some blocking there. He gets four yards on the play. Watts runs to his left. He tries throwing the ball, and it's incomplete. Watt under center in the empty. He runs to his right. He sees someone open, he throws across his body, and that's an interception! Oh no! Oh no, that's his 10th pick. And they give it to Salamander, and it's stopped again. Watt, if he can get the block here, might have a big play. Big play potential, he passes it, and that's another pick! Oh no, game is over. Believe Watts. Oh. He thought he was going to have a receiver open downfield, but he just didn't lead him enough. Threw a bullet when he should have lobbed it. And they're just going to kneel the ball. Game is over. Thank you for watching. Wolves are now 1 and 3. Please like and subscribe. And see you next time. Again, we face the Redcoats with Clint Benoulis as their Joe Aikens as their running back. Again, thank you for watching. Peace.